Hello everyone, welcome back. Good to have you here, Paul Trani here with the one and only Sasha Vinogradova. Good job. <laughs> oh, nailed it. Yeah, I, I had to rehearse that, just rehearsing it over and over. It's okay, you're not the first person to rehearse it. I want to know if anybody can guess, uh, first or last name, uh, guess where Sasha is, is from. Is that safe to say? Like, how long have you been in the U.S.? Um, I've been here for six years. Six I've, years. I've just been telling Paul that, like, my first and last name is most, like, the most common she, Russian name. Yeah, Sorry, exactly. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's perfect. <laughs> but it's like the most. It's, Sasha is a, 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 first names very common. Yep. And Ving. Vinogradova, yeah. Vinogradova is very, 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 very common. common. Yeah, I, in my friend, it's like saying like Paul Jones or Mike yeah, Jones yeah, in yeah, the yeah, U.S. Yeah. or so, Mike Johnson. Kind of obnoxious that it's so long, but it is. No, oh, it's a different um. backpack. <laughs> 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 the gray one. Thank you. We have some cool things planned. We're getting everything, everything lined up, and it's going to be really fun. I'm like thoroughly impressed. I think everybody should just. I don't know. I'm just like really into today. You just. You're, you seem awesome, and I know your portfolio alone is amazing, so I can't wait uh, for people to check it out. And what you can also do is just go over to the info tab, by the way, just so you know. I'm going there right now, but here, check this out. Like, here's her work. Um, in general, you can actually go to this. Uh, I was actually looking at this off stuff, which is super cool. Yeah. Uh, but basically, in the info tab, you can see her work on Behance, which is also on your website, as you can see. Sasha Vinogradova, it's loading up now. Uh, but your work's like just amazing, just perusing through this. Uh, some 3D work, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, so um, I've been doing 3D pretty much my entire career, but also lots of Photoshop stuff. Um, I jump from software to software it's really fun uh, it's like sometimes i wish i could just stop on one but um mm -hmm. not happening yet so far <laughs> and like there's always some new software to learn to pick up and it's just very interesting to that be is, a graphic designer that's totally cool and you work as like part of a team yeah so right now i work in the mill la i've been there for three years what is it called? Mill? Mill, Mill, Mill LA. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and um, it's a great company. The stuff I do mostly is uh, um, like uh, concept frames, uh, sometimes modeling, sometimes concept design, um, sometimes illustration. We do uh, like uh, advertising, we do um, uh, titles for movies, TV shows, sometimes we work on actual movies. Uh, before that, I uh, used to do print, like um, uh, key art for uh, movies and uh, TV series. Uh, as you can see, like one of the biggest I did was uh, uh, for Crown, the key art for Crown. Not just me, obviously, a part of the team. Um, okay, but, yeah, Crown uh, right here, the, the crown. concept and then, uh, yeah. Um, and many other things. I actually wanted to, uh, to tell the story how I got here to US. Yeah. Um, so I came here six years ago, uh, and um, before that I used to be a web designer in Moscow, uh -huh. doing uh, 3D mostly for fun, like for myself. And um, I uh, watched the first season of Game of Thrones, got really blown away, it was like, whoa, this is awesome. And I just uh, did a key art, like, um, this was the key art I did. Not the key art, just a wallpaper for fun. Mm -hmm. Posted it online, people went crazy about it, like, do others, do others, do others. So I did the whole series, posted it on Behance. The whole series as in like all the houses or? Not, yes, not all the houses, but, but it was the... like nine houses, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, I posted it online, uh, posted it on Behance actually. It um, became very popular in about like three months. I'm back in Moscow doing web design, mm -hmm. and I'm getting this email from uh, Sean from LA. He's like, hey, we're working on the new season of Game of, Game of Thrones. Would you like to work on it too? What? <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that, Ty? You hear so that, Froja? You Heidi? Just, you just do stuff for fun, and then it becomes your job. And then Secret they invited works. me oh. to work here, and here I am. 
still. That's fantastic. Yeah. So you basically did this, did some Game of Thrones art out of the sheer love of it, love yeah. for it. Yeah. Posted it. Three months later, you get contacted. Yeah. And they're like, come, come, why don't you come work on Game of yeah, Thrones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. High five. Uh, yeah. And like all the best stuff always happens when you just do stuff for fun. Yeah. Well, I do stuff for fun. And I don't know, like <laughs> the Game of Thrones people haven't called me up yet. I like that show too. <laughs> Uh, but again, that's like a lot of you, I don't know if toiling is the right, it's a lot of you working away at your craft and then you worked on this piece and then all of a sudden your phone rings, which is awesome. So super cool, uh, super proud of you and Marcus is jelly, <laughs> right? I think we're all super jealous and I, you're just like, I, f I feel like you're just like a super hard worker too, it's kind of the impression I get. I feel like you. You spent a lot of time doing this. Well, I've been a designer for almost 13 years, so I had, okay. I had my time. <laughs> right? I get it. So, so cool. And I'm just looking at the concept of the crown stuff. So, yeah. uh, I think your plan, this is going to be fun. What's yeah. the plan for the next so, couple days? Uh, uh, my plan uh, is to work on a new poster every day. And uh, I want to show you guys different techniques working in Photoshop. Uh, something I learned over the years, some stuff you probably know for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just like a mixture of different um, techniques I know, learn, and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, We're switching over to your Well, then laptop. we will reveal the final result. Oh, no, we better not we'll switch back. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> uh, so uh, first day I want to show you some illustra uh, illustration techniques, how to take a photo and turn it into a nice illustration technique. Um, second day, I want to show more of uh, collage stuff, uh, how to put objects together in a collage of the objects. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the third day, I want to show more of like matte painting, landscape looking stuff. Um, so that should be fun. Yeah. Let me open some stuff. It's going to be fascinating. Just let me know. Hang on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch Absolutely. over. Want to remind everybody we do have a challenge going on now. First off, just so you know, we're going to do a random, not so random giveaway because we've planned it to have it in 20 minutes of something fun as a gift uh, to say thank you. And that's going to be this Moo uh, notebook that holds all the answers to what happens in the next season of Game of Thrones. It's just right there. <laughs> And we'll send that out to you. And then also we have the design challenge. But this is fun. So it okay. sounds like you're going to work on a different subject like each day. Yes, it will be a different cool. subject. And uh, I already actually uh, went through those files. I built it before because I just needed to know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to show you my process. And uh, in the end, I'll reveal how it looks. I was also thinking to post uh, like a project with all the files to share with people for them to look at. Yeah, certainly. You you definitely can. We can we can get you that that link out if you're willing to share it. Absolutely. So welcome. So Frozone Productions, we're gonna be working in Photoshop. Do you work in Illustrator at all? I do work in Illustrator just a little bit, just mm -hmm. to like get by. But I hear like some of the title art, some of that stuff, like everything, you know, little icons maybe, I don't know. Um Mostly, yeah, like just maybe icons and stuff. I actually, earlier this week when you guys told me to look into uh, some of the uh, other Adobe live streams, yeah. And I went to like illustration tab and I just got stuck there for hours. Because, like, oh, see all the amazing illustration work that's yeah, done. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow, <laughs> this is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, trust me, we're getting, we have a green room that we're setting up and we're starting to put up all like various illustrations that have been made in the live stream. It's like, Pretty awesome, yeah. but uh, like, let's not discount your stuff. Like, yeah, so um, your stuff's amazing. I'm going to do stuff in Photoshop, not in Illustrator. Um, so let me uh, tell you about my process. So I knew that I want to show you some um, illustration uh, illustration techniques. And um, first, you kind of have to have an approximate idea of what you want to do. You need to set up your intention. You can. Um, grab a random photo, turn it into illustration, it's totally fine, but it's much better if you have a direction in mind. So in my case, um, I played this game, I don't remember, I think it was, I don't remember. The artwork looks amazing. Artwork blew me away. What is this? I was like, wow, this is gorgeous. So I really like this kind of artwork. 
uh, just like a geometrical aspect of it and uh, uh, how they use uh, like design elements, which I really, Dragon Age, yes, thank you. So, um, and I wanted to adopt it in my uh, uh, artwork. I also like like this uh, geometric aspect of it. Um, and uh, as a style, I obviously it's a different awesome 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 artist i like this uh positive and negative space i love uh, it i love yes. positive and negative and, and um design approach too and some bold colors and just generally this is kind of obviously um i will not mimic exactly the same uh, technique there are artists who are much better than me at this i'm just showing my fast like illustrative technique when you need to do things like relevantly fast as a designer i usually don't have much time to like design a frame mm -hmm. it's like good if you have a day <laughs> for a frame you yeah to design a frame yeah, what do you poster. mean like for example um when i used to work in like key art it it's amazing if you have a day to design a poster because okay. there's so many concepts you need to um like produce that you gotta be quick yeah so it's some um it's technique how like to make things faster obviously there are people who do that much better than me but i'll just show you my ways so <laughs> show us your ways yeah i want to learn all your ways <laughs> so um you guys gave me uh adobe, adobe life oh adobe credits stock yeah, credits it was stock, amazing yeah. i was like oh right, <laughs> i'm rich is, is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh it, it's a big big oh sorry a, a big uh part of he, of the process is finding the right image it's oh, it's, yeah. it's insane how Job. important it is to find it's right a gorgeous image. images this is super fun yeah so i went through lots of them i thought like okay what am i doing i um from those references i kind of knew like okay i want something like a very geometrical very bold um and i think the um like profile images were the strongest i needed a very strong silhouette so after all of this i was like oh this is this is just gorgeous i'll take this mm -hmm. one so um i already kind of uh quickly mocked out my, my result not result but like where yeah, I'm going and we not it. like it's a yeah watermark version we'll purchase no, it it's fine yeah I usually uh, take the um, just the watermark to just comp out, comp out my general composition but as soon as I know what I'm going with I, I, I yeah because you need that higher res yeah I uh, I already anyways. I already licensed it so I'm going to just grab it from my folder Sweet. so and okay, so I already have a uh, yes, Lindsay. Image. Lindsay, good to have you here. Lindsay Palmer's in the house, she's a great illustrator. Um, but you're right, you can definitely see your passion coming through. You're excited about free credits to like, oh Adobe my god, Stock. I was like, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> um, so, um, I'll start with comping out uh, roughly actual um, photo file and then I'm going to turn it into illustration. So I need to cut her out. Uh, there are obviously a million ways how you can cut out a person, um, whatever object from a photo. Mm -hmm. um, in this particular case, um, I uh, will do color selection. There are many, many, many ways, obviously. Uh, I will do color selection. And that's yeah. it. Yeah, you're doing great. Um, and uh, what I like to do, I just created alpha of this. Um, I copy alpha into the separate layer because I want to work on it first before getting into actual thing. Because Are I want to burn and dodge the alpha before, okay. like seeing it as it is. Uh, so I'm grabbing... Okay, so in just a recap, you made a layer mask, yeah, and then I'm... you did a select all and copy for the layer mask? Yeah. And then you did a paste on a layer? Yes, exactly. And it'll paste those black and white pixels. Yes. I which I've never should, done. I probably no, should No, you're great. say that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should, because I think I've never worked this way before, and I don't know if everybody knows that you can take a layer mask, those black yes. and white pixels, 
and turn them into an actual yeah. layer. Which and is the same way you can do that with the image afterwards. That's what I'm going to do when I'm going to do the mask. I'll show you the other way around. So I'm going to take this image and I'm going to turn um, everything um, um, just black and white. I'm taking my dodge tool. It's already set up on highlights, and I'm just uh, cleaning up, cleaning out this like part. Okay. And then I'm switching to gradient. And really, this is your select. This is your dodge and burn layer. Or is this going to be your selection layer? That will be my mask layer or afterwards. Mask layer. Okay. But for now, I'm just. It's easier for me to work from a black and white image. I can do the same with the mask here. Yeah. But it, it will work too. But mm -hmm. I just like it. Okay, yeah. Only separate black and white layer. Yeah. Okay, so from here, I... Oops. Hopefully everybody's liking this. Ty and Laura, Felicia's in the house. Good to have you here. This is really cool. You're just using different tools, painting it. Yeah, getting, I'm getting just covering it. Getting rid of that whole it. background. Yep. And here, same deal. I'm just covering all the... I love it. <laughs> oh, masking is like a, a thing of its own. Sometimes you can Truly. just get lost there and uh, like uh, meditatively spend entire day masking images, which I recommend not doing. I recommend do it as quick as and efficient efficient as possible. And I love, I want you to just do this all day long. <laughs> I just want to watch you work. Because you work fast too and I love, I just love this. Um, thanks. No, this is so good. Um, so, okay, now I have my black and white image. It's all good. Uh, what I do now, I, I still see some uh, gray area here. And what I do here now, I go into my channels and with control, clicking on RGB it, and my like everything white got selected, everything black is not selected. I will remove this mask from here, delete mask. I invert the selection, shift control I, and can do either this, which I probably will do, yes. So this is my mask, all cool. good. Yeah. Um, the only thing which I don't like is mm. this guy and how fuzzy the mask is. Yeah. So I'm going to redo it. Uh, I'm going to grab it again. I'm going to go to selection tool, go to, go to select and mask. And from here, I'm going to get a little bit smoothness and a little bit of contrast to. Do you ever like, do you, do, do you play with the shift edge? I do, do I do. It, uh, it just, in this particular case, I rather do sh uh, shifting edge automatic in, in a different way. Mm -hmm. I do shift this thing. I just, in this particular case, I want to control because I don't want to erase too much hair, yeah. but I want to erase this edge yeah. on her. So I'm confirming that it's okay and uh, selecting it. Cool, now I need to remove this edge, but just in some places, like her back mm -hmm. is good, but that highlight, yeah. those are not very good. So in order to fix it, I'm selecting my mask again with control and going to select Modify, contract, and for example, in this case, I'll do two. It depends really on resolution of your okay, image. Okay, contract it, yep. And <laughs> inverting my mask again, shift yeah. control I. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Taking my brush. And I'm then painting. In, and paint yeah. in places which I I can hide, com, uh, control H, so I can see what's happening. As you can see, I needed to contract it more, so I'm coming back. I'm selecting it again, select, contract, modify, can, track, and do three. Switching it, and from here I can really get into the places which I need to erase. So and hopefully that makes sense. She did a contract uh, by a certain number of pixels, and you just kind of got to play with that. I wish you actually saw a preview of it. Wouldn't it be nice if you saw a preview of three, if you contracted it by three, if you saw a preview? Yes, that would be, be great. Nice. Yes. Because uh, I do end up doing the same thing. But you contracted it, and now you paint. You yeah. invert it, and now painting. And, and I'm just like doing it where I need it to do, because like I think her neck is fine, and her hair is mostly fine. I'm going to repaint her hair at some point to like add better silhouette. Uh, but 
like, but tier three is too much, for example, to me, which is, well, I guess it's fine for this now. Well, I don't like it, actually, I'll do two. Because I think her silhouette just changed too much. Um, <laughs> I kinda got, um, What are you laughing at? I got stuck. <laughs> oh, you got stuck. Do you need help with anything? Because uh, what are you trying to my do? My brain just like turns off. <laughs> Select. Did you oh my god. Your train of thought. <laughs> I just forgot what it's. You know, sometimes you do things in a way that like your hands just do it and remember it, <laughs> but then you turn on your brain and you're like, oh my god, what the fuck? Because right that? now we're making you verbalize everything. Yeah. And you're like, you're not used to talking to yourself and working. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so theme XD, yeah, con the, the, uh, is it contract? Con contract? contract? Is yes. that what it's called? Yeah, I don't know. Contract. I'm losing my mind. And expand okay. and feather. Those are the different Well, ones. I, yes. <laughs> um, so I think she's good. I like it. Uh, let's bring her back into my um, comp. And, um, So I can delete. Oh, you actually can see I, I went through like a bunch of iteration here while I'm like coming back a little bit to the process. Oopsie. Um, so when you work on something, you want, like, I always have the same process. First, I'm gathering references, lots of references. Um, it gives me an idea of like what I want in terms of color, style, like direction, anything particular. <laughs> and um, uh, from there, you want to start with sketch. Everything, like everything better with sketch. Okay. So I, if it's like a super rough sketch, like in this case, super rough, it's totally fine. Yeah, it's super rough. <laughs> just kidding. That's the best thing. <laughs> It's, it's just good. something quick, and you know, I went through like bunch of different interaction, like inter iterations in terms of like what I want. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I uh, and I like having like a concept while I'm working. Mm -hmm. So I thought it's to add a little bit of story that it's not just the portrait of a girl. It's uh, like a, well, a queen, more like a, a playing card, you know. Um, okay. So that was my concept. But and then, and I, we should probably step back. So, what are you making a poster of? Well, in this particular case, like a I'm made just, up movie. I'm just making. Something? I'm just making things up. Usually, if it was an actual poster, I would probably have um, already a library to work with. Usually, it's provided like from a photo shoot or from actual shoot day. Or mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you, for example, do not work with a actual like portraits of the actors and whatever and then you just go to the stock find the images which kind of um Matt, yeah you're in, you're really mocking it up yeah, like yeah. for the based on the so you know what the photo shoot's going to be and stuff like that or at least hopefully what they capture in the photo shoot and stuff right well yeah it depends it really depends on the project sometimes uh you want to show just like a mock-up so they uh, can do a photo shoot sometimes um it's like they already know that there is not going to be a photo shoot. You need to get around it. For example, like, um, well, obviously not showing cast, but more going with like an abstract symbolic yeah. images. In this case, I totally went like, whatever, I'll just do whatever I want. So, and make what's it look the, like it's, it's a poster, but it's not really a, a poster, poster of a movie, but you're, you can make, you're making up the, like, what's the title going to be? Uh, uh, this one, uh, like I call it Hail to the Queen just because Hail to the Queen. Because cool, that's all I needed. Yes, yes. That will be the Hail, title. Hail to the Queen. This yeah. is gonna be the next next the, the movie, next hit. Next, next next big thing in Hollywood. Produced and directed. Starring Sasha. Everything. Everything. Starring you. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um so um okay. So I'll keep my um I'll keep my I'll keep my uh, sketch for just a um, purpose for the reference, and I'm going to delete 
all this stuff, which I don't need. Um, okay, so we have this beautiful image. The photographer is just amazing, love it. <laughs> um, so coming back to the references, you can see how geometrical everything is. I really want to keep it the same way. Very like, cool look, look. Look at her here. It's like yeah. geometric, geometric, geometric. Everything nice is Nice contrast awesome. of like a real realistic photo. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So um, I kind of actually uh, did this um, series ins already inspired by like on, on this idea. Uh, and uh, it was it was this series. So this series was inspired by oh, the, same, the same concept. Like, like after I don't know what's going on here. And it's the, I, don't, I don't know what it's seance I want to be like I'm signed up for here. Or what, it's whatever. Egyptian gods. Hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, so but cool. I got inspired after playing Dragon Age and seeing those like graphics. I was like, oh, so great. <laughs> I but love it. still, can have enough. Can get enough of it. Um, okay, coming back to. Uh, so I want to change her silhouette in a way that it becomes nice and geometric too. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm taking my shape tool and I'm going to draw. Kind of know what I'm going for. Oh, here. pro tip! You just did a pro move there too. Did you you put down a point and then you didn't? You didn't let go of the mouse. You're able to put down a point and move it. Oh, really? I think you did. Yeah, yeah. Holding, like... holding, holding space does it. Yeah, the space bar. If you press down and you haven't let up with your mouse, you can move it around with yeah. the space bar. And same deal with Alt. You can change the change it into yeah. the shape and uh, to the sharp. Pro angle. quality. We got a we got a pro in the house. She knows so, what she's doing. Hopefully. We're just, oh, we're, it's your no, world, just, we're just living in it. Hey, I'm just, I'm just faking my way for the <laughs> yeah, last yeah. 15 years. <laughs> last, last 15 years, I'm just, I'm faking it. Maybe they, no, maybe the, they won't notice that I'm, that I'm not a professional after doing this for 15 years and working I, on Game I of Thrones. I can general. tell you how many <laughs> designers actually feel the same way. It's just like, I hope nobody noticed you. I know. It's so sad. Like, I hope they don't know, like, I don't need my, any of my layers and I did destructive stuff and I didn't use smart objects. I'm such a fraud. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, coming back to the shapes. You're killing me. It's super awesome. Uh, so I like the very. Um, so I don't want obviously misshape her too much, but I like idea of having a very very um, geometrical shapes. And um, okay, I drew the shape in order to turn it into the uh, vector. I'm going to just, I have it, I turn it, I click on solid, click in the color, cool. Uh, so this is my one vector. And I also knew that I want her neck to be very, um, like right now, if you look at it, like I want, I want her neck to be very uh, geometrical too. So I'm going to fix it a little bit. Sorry, I'm almost like not looking in the chat because so into this. I'll be better. Okay, same deal. I'm just um, turn it into a solid object. That's what happens sometimes when you do not deselect your previous uh, layer and both of them get selected, which is fine in my case. <laughs> so um, I'll just. Uh, change color into the black and now I'm going to um, convert what I had before into smart object in order to get a new uh, layer of um, masking okay. yeah. and I'm going to oh well I needed to keep my uh, opacity 100% and now I'm going to use this as my masking thing so I'm selecting it and um, and inverting my selection, going to the mask. Okay, so you just you you're really just used those. Yeah, just the boundaries and to work with mm -hmm. the mask. So you drew 
drew with a pen tool just so you could have this selection. So you can kind yeah. of go in and, and, and just select certain yeah, things. And, and now you're doing another invert, right? Yeah, so you want to trim that? Invert. Trim in it. Okay. So, and um, I'm going to have a new layer because um, her skirt should be an extra layer. So, oh, wrong. Fantastic. Yeah. You know it also is on a layer, a layer behind us of fireworks. <laughs> Look, we got fireworks. Oh, wow. That nice. means it's time for chat and win. So we get to give away something fun. So let's dive into chat, chat and win right now. Welcome, Nathalie. Welcome back, everybody. She's like, what do we do? What do we, what do, we do? Did I win? Did I win? Well, I think we won because we have you here. We're so happy that you're here. So we're so happy to chat and win. Here. Just say something in chat uh, saying, wow, love your scarf. You look so cool and you kind of mysterious, right? She's a, this, she says designer all the way. I'm like, yeah, total, yeah, yeah. total cool designer. But this is the moon notebook that you could win if we draw your name. Just say something in chat like, cool scarf, nice Man, hair. It's such a nice... And then it Notebook? goes like this. Can, it, can I say something in chat? <laughs> <laughs> you want to try to win? Would it, would it be cheating? Not to worry. We're going we're gonna to take care of you. It's uh, okay. I have my own. It's a good one, too. <laughs> then, we have, then we have all the secrets to life right in here. All the secrets. It's actually lined and unlined pink paper, which is kind of fascinating. Really pretty. Uh, and we do want to congratulate Ryan Brown. Ryan Brown's the proud owner of one of these new Congrats. notebooks. Really including nice. Little sleeves, you could like be all fancy. Congratulations, Ryan, you're the proud owner. <laughs> we'll have that sent out to you. I think we're gonna send Gus out and he's gonna drop it off and giggle and run away. So, <laughs> uh, but not to worry, everybody gets a discount. Moo.com forward slash Adobe Live gets you 15% off. So whatever you make is even part of the challenge. We have an, a, a challenge going on. I saw it, yes. Yes, so we'll dive into challenge. that. The theme is just being sur it's surrealistic, just anything surrealist. Su surrealistic? I like it. Um, just compositing a couple photos oh, together. Oh, wow, yeah. I can so we just wanted you to work on something so, so new and fresh and be inspired and cut something out and make something happen. So pretty much um, like what you guys told me to do earlier. Just yeah. Just like, hey, just come something up and show us. Which, which can be kind of a little scary because you're not, you, you, yeah, there's so many different things you can so do. so many things you can do, absolutely. And that's when you need references. <laughs> yeah, see, that works. Like learn, learn from somebody else's work too. Like, hey, this is cool, let me do that. I personally have so many Pinterest boards for everything. For oh, like do you really? illustration, photography, like landscapes, Oh, everything. My, my entire life is like on Pinterest, but it's oh, all really? hidden. <laughs> I, I want to see, I kind of want to see it too. I, I can um, show I, I do. You can turn that up. I'm going to go ahead and show the challenge. It's the challenge tab right here, just so everybody knows. Just combine at least two images in Photoshop together to create a, sur a surreal scene uh, of some sort. Uh, unicorns and, I don't know, planets and, uh, I don't know, something like that. So now you got it. Yeah, fun. We'll review those in an hour, but I'll switch back to you. Cool. Um, and we will have to stock you on Pinterest. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you, you can because uh, everything is hidden because, like, uh, this is my personal little treasure. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Uh, but, like, like, I have Pinterest boards for, like, everything. Wow. So, you know. Got, you win. Got to gotta have your Question, Pinterest board. Do you reference it a lot? What? I feel like... I feel like Pinterest for me are like bookmarks. I bookmark things, yeah. but I never go back to them. Sometimes you never come back to them. Uh, and sometimes like I have this, which before was just likes, but now it turned into your Pinterest likes, whatever. And, oh, sorry. Sometimes it's hard to navigate. Well, I <laughs> use it sometimes for just like, uh, Inspiration. That's exactly the moment when you like, oh, there is the challenge. Is like a... Combine two images together. You're like, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So that's when you go on your Pinterest board and you're like, mm -hmm. oh, this is all so great. I want to do all of this, but what exactly do I want to do? Especially when you got the skills you do. And this is this is inspiring. Scrolling through all this. Yeah, I wish I. <laughs> yeah. I wish I did it, but <laughs> you kind of need to get jealous. And then you just do your own things. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's where like I was like, I want to do it again. Let's oh yeah, you really mm -hmm. a little theme in that area. Yeah. Well, okay, coming back. Is it okay to come back to the doing stuff? Yes, <laughs> we can come back to the doing stuff. Okay, great. <laughs> You're the best, and I agree, Lindsay. She has so many boards. I do have lots of boards. Lots of boards, but not bored. Because this is super cool. Okay, so I actually, like, this one didn't turn out very well here. Brienne, I know, those Egyptian mythology boards are nice. Even, I was with on air with Anna earlier, and she also liked the idea of a realistic photo with geometric shapes. Yes. It's and I feel like that's just a cool. Absolutely. Really cool look. It's a, it's, it's a contrast, but it goes together. It's like if you're yes. pairing fonts. You have different fonts, but... Ultimately, they're, they have to be tied together in a way. Yep. Uh, I think it's just a very um, interesting way to turn something familiar into something more stylized and interesting. Like, mm -hmm. here again, coming back to the references, always coming back to the references. Mm -hmm. I also been inspired by like some um, like fashion photography, which is like here, it's mm -hmm. not really geometric, but you kind of can tell how it's going into it's this like way. It's like graphic. Yes. It's a pretty graphic photo. Yes. So, um, okay. Very into it. And, and that piece down there kind of reminds me of Andrew uh, Segretti. He was on before you. Oh, yeah. He does yeah, photography yeah, yeah, like yeah. that I, where I, the guy's shadows. I, I saw, his, I saw uh, his work. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. There's like, like a very graphic element in a photograph. So, super cool. Yeah, he did some cool portrait. Okay, so obviously, right now, the skirt is not part of the image. I'm going to um, um, roughly uh, fix it. I'm not going to go very accurate about it because I'm going to turn it into illustration later on, so I don't need to worry m too much about it. But um, I'm grabbing my curves, uh, doing this, and then grabbing my uh, uh, gradient tool and uh, doing this. So I just did uh, curves with a mask on top of the image. Uh, so curves oh and you brought the contrast like all the way down so it's dark mm -hmm. so it's, it's showing dark. the yeah. dark okay yeah. got it okay okay so from here i can really go into the illustration techniques this is will be our base um, um let's call it base and um i'm also going to well i keep one of them because um, okay so from here um, in that illustration style, which I want to do, it's pretty much breaking it into different tones. And um, I, I'm going to do that with the uh, jasmine layers. So first I'm turning everything uh, black and white situation, the island situation back, just not mm -hmm. to get distracted with the colors. Colors is something I'm going to bring uh, later on. Right now it's just saturation. And uh, there is um, such thing as a posturize. So this breaks down for you pretty much on on the uh, le um, different tone layers as you want. So um, it's pretty much will be my guide for later on to posturize. Okay, yeah. got yeah. it. So and uh, the cool thing you can break fascinating. You can break it up on like how. How I'm many, all this. how many le levels you need? Also, keep an adjustment layer below the posterize. You can control your like the shape of uh -huh. it. So, it's and you're gonna maybe just kind of use this as a guide potentially, or yeah, I'm going to turn it into the uh, into the illustration le le level layer. This already yeah. looks so like just the like you did a good job of choosing like the right photo. It's pretty majestic yeah. and, and just, it's looking good. I think with this technique, um, like dramatic lighting works the best. Probably the flat images, like flat lighting, will not yeah. look as great. You'll get all sorts of it's weird It's just too banding. many shapes, yes. Uh, like something with more dramatic lighting will work the best. Um, okay, so first, I'm going to pretty much have each uh, layer separately, like the base layer, then the grays, then the whites, and maybe the highlights. Uh, so let's start with just making the base. This is like a principle I wanted to show you, but I'm going to first uh, work on the base. So I'm, I'm, I'm copying the group 
I worked on and just merging everything with control E up and turning everything black. So this will be my base. I uh, want to work on her hair first here because they're kind of like not really anything painterly good. Mm -hmm. I like working with masks better than images because mask you have control adding or uh, removing and um, it's just this is just my way so I will turn it into the mask so I'm selecting it with the control so all the empty pixels are deselected all the not empty pixels got selected turn it into mask and fill in this with black so now our image actually yeah the mask. So now you can paint with black and white and it's just going to start yeah. revealing the black. Yeah. So um, I'm taking just a regular brush, nothing fancy. Uh, Hard round. Yeah. And you're also using a Wacom tablet. Yeah, I'm using Wacom tablet, which is a couple years old. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. I feel like scratches. you fall asleep on that thing. Like you yeah, have, it has drooling seen, it on, has it on a regular <laughs> basis. <laughs> it's seen some days. It, it has stories. It does have <laughs> stories, uh, but it's like you're getting so many compliments in chat. First of all, people love your scarf. They love your accent. Thank you. Um, they love your hair. And awesome. They're all, everybody's yeah, like, like follow I, it, falling I, in love. I, I died. I and not only that, you're an amazing artist. Look at this. Oh, let me just the. Oh yeah, Game of Thrones. Yeah, I worked on that. Yeah. Let me do that. I'm gonna paint some hair. Stop it. My hair doesn't look like that. But this is the power of the Wacom too, right? Yeah, that is yeah, nice. absolutely. And I also uh, keep it on a little bit of smoothing. I like it a lot. Yes. Like to keep um, my I brush is a just a little bit of smoothing, kind yeah. of depending on the amount of, like, kind of how close you are and the level of smoothness yeah. you want. Yeah. If people don't know about smoothing, it's it's like a little bit a delay in your stroke, so you can it'll just let you get these nice smooth like yeah. curved lines. Exactly. It's amazing. It's really good to like uh, draw smooth long lines. Oh, uh, it's probably a little too messy here. I feel like you could be in Game of Thrones. <laughs> you kind of have that whole style, like wearing <laughs> all black. You have this leather band. You got a cool ring uh, on your I, finger. I probably will die like in the first twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be like, I'd be done. So I'm like, there's no, I don't, I don't know. Hey, yeah, I'm like. I can't complain on this compliment. It's like something I, I would love lo love to be part of. <laughs> how long did it take you to learn how to use the Wacom? Oh, I mean, I got my first Wacom when I was like 17 as a present for my parents for my, for my birthday. And <laughs> that's how it started. <laughs> they knew. But it, like, I think some people, like, I think Anna was talking about this. Well, we were talking about this together. Like, it, it can take a while. If, like, the mouse works for you. Like, you have something that already works. It's hard to jump to something else. And I think this is definitely a case where it's like, you need you need a Wacom to get these variants and strokes. Yeah, for sure. For this particular, uh, like, tutorial, you got to have a tablet. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. Mm. <laughs> Prawns. Like, Generally, like every time you have something slightly painterly, it works so much better and yeah. easier with a tablet. So, this is so cool. I'm done with my first base. This is the base. I'm going to um, uh, work from here. So we keep this, we will call it. Um, well, this will be then the um, um, comped base, I guess. And this will be just base. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy you're like, and you kind of do need to. I mean, do you normally? You could just be honest with this. Do you name? Do you usually name layers or? I uh, do name layers because sometimes I can get so messy. You gotta name yeah. your layers, and then in the end, I, I generally trying to uh, clean up my files. Uh, it's something like comes from working in a poster industry, like mm -hmm. you being. Called really hard if you didn't. Oh yeah, because <laughs> so. especially if you're like sharing files. Yeah, that... because in poster industry, you usually like work on like. By the way, this is the standard size for the poster when. Nope, sorry, pixels. Uh, when you work on the concept. 20, 2700, yeah, yeah. 4000. Yeah, this is standard. Yeah. But then when, for example, um, your poster got accepted and uh, approved, it goes to the finisher and it uh, turns oh, yeah. it, turn it into a gigantic, humongous thing like 
like 20,000 pixels. And they, do they, re are they kind of recreating it? They kind of recreating it, but that's also why you need to keep your files in undistracted way. So when it's get yeah. bigger, it still like, it less, less, less work for re the retouchers and for the finishers. Into it. Paul, I hear you, like Paul got like what, I think I'm wondering how many people out there are Game of Thrones fans. Oh, I, versus aren't I, I'm with Paul because I started watching it and I'm I don't know. No, I actually that hasn't. It doesn't do anything for me. I'm sorry. It just I hate me if you want to. Like, I'm not hating you. You're a lovely person, like, but I'm like I'm I, back then. I nerded out and like Lord of the Rings. So oh, I like Lord of the Rings. I like okay, this stuff. Okay, good. But it's taken me a while to get hooked, and I think that's it's it does it take. I think any good series kind of you got to get it give it a couple episodes. Um. Maybe I don't know. I, actually, I just don't have that kind of time. Like it would, it would, it would take less time for me to get my pilot's license than it would to watch Game of Thrones at this point. It's your choice. I'm, but trust me, like, I'm not gonna do either. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna lounge around in my in whatever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just like I watched the first season, and to me, it was like there was nothing on TV for the longest time after Lord oh, of the Rings, yeah. and it was like finally something, and it wasn't like a, just fairy tales, rainbows, and yeah. fairies. It was like... Real uh, life stuff. Uh, yes, I yes. don't know, that's stre <laughs> stressed me out. It's like, I just want running water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Laura loves it. Linda's never watched it. Voodoo Val, of course, likes it. Welcome, Helmet. Also, welcome if you're joining us for the first time. We'd love to hear from you in chat. And not to mention, you have about f less than 45 minutes for it. Yeah, okay, let's, let's is, go... And like 45 minutes for me to finish my thing. So. You better hurry up. I better yes, stop interrupting you. It's so rude. <laughs> I'm just so excited you're here. You're amazing. Well, I need to finish I it. I know. It's, a lot it's of like work. a, you know, it's a self imposed deadline you gave yourself. <laughs> you're all stressed out. Like, okay, wow, okay. I love, go I, uh, sorry, go ahead. I love how fast you're working. Go ahead. Uh, so, okay. So, next step, I need to grab next layer. Oh, oh, oh layer, level, layer, base, whatever. So everything is, what you see is gray now. I need to have it as a separate layer. In order to do so, I already merged it all together and you can control L, turns it into the levels. And you kind of can see where the colors are, black, gray, uh -huh. white. So I'm just, so this is that area here. Okay, so this will be this. And um, uh, from here, I'm going to use uh, filters. So I'm going to convert it into smart object, go into the filter, filter gallery, and um, I'm going to use cutout as my um, base. So um, I already done before, so there are already some, some presets, which I already like. I keep in it. And um, sorry, here I'm duplicating those layers many what times. What was the filter that you applied? Cut out. And what did that do? I uh, didn't really. It's see, it simplified the lines for me, so I don't have to paint everything out. It just can oh, use it as okay. a base. Got it. Yeah. Cool. So um, this is good. Um, now I'll, I'm going to merge it because I, it has some grace, which I need to remove mm -hmm. by with just, uh, you know, la layers, levels, levels. Uh, and uh, I'm going to paint, oh, and here it's great. And here. So same deal, I'm going to turn this guy into the mask. Yeah, a little layer mask. Bam. Okay. okay, this time, what color? Is it it's it's white. white? Yeah, it's white, and um, this will be my canvas here. Um, and I'm going to bring my this thing into this thing. So right now, it's actually, I uh, clipped my highlights into the base. So see, it's part of the, it's part of the thing now. Like the, the, the base layer is good. This is like your mid-tone layer, yeah, your gray it's my layer? Yeah, mi mid-tone mid layer. And um, from this, I actually will take an actual photo as my reference, damn it, to 
paint on top of so I'm going to bring it here um, maybe with just a little opacity and I'm going to work on this layer now with a brush because it's cut out I don't have to go that crazy about it like painting everything 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 just some like uh, usually in this like stylized technique you don't need to um, go crazy the same amount of details everywhere it goes to like actually many things one of the biggest mistakes I have done and had to overcome is like how detail you always want to go everywhere it's okay. a mistake it's oh, like it's it, will, it, oh, okay, it will not make your thing look better if you go crazy with details everywhere like if you have a center of your composition or center of attention and you work on it uh, more and everything else is more simplified it actually will make it look stronger and better and will lead eye straight straight there so obviously if you're working on the portrait like hair and face and eyes this is your center of attention everything else might, can go much more simpler so you don't have to kill yourself uh, and mainly you're working everything. on the edges right yeah so because uh, like I already have a main shape I'm just um, yeah. And this is the gr this is the gray layer, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do the same with the uh, uh, whites. Okay. So, are you going to be keeping the white part here or the b dark tone? Uh, right now, I'm keeping? working it. I'm working just on black and white because I like it. But then I'm going to turn an actual like mid tone color. What's the on. what would be the mid tone color of this or her, the hair? Niton is the face, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So you really don't. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. You, you kind of don't need to worry about the other side of the hair. Nope. It's just the hair around her. It's mainly the skin tone. Yeah. Solid so, color. Yeah. And uh, I, I agree. Justin ag agrees with your like simplicity versus detail. But that's like for this style specifically. Right? No, it's for or everything. No? It's for everything. Like oh. it, it's like if you go too crazy with details everywhere, it just like. It's the most useless work you can do. Uh, and like m my personality, I love details. I'm like, oh, I need to get more details in here. And nope, just try to hold yourself and uh, just uh, pick your bottle wisely. How long have you worked at the mill? I've been there for almost three years at this point. Okay. And so so you've been in the U.S. three years? I've been in the U.S. for six years because uh, uh, three other years I worked in a company called End Company who actually invited me here and brought me here and... End Company? End Company, yeah. And uh, all the people I worked with here are just wonderful, wonderful people. And uh, I'm very lucky to know all of them and uh, so just being able to work on working on it's it's just you sound very grateful and you're also like very talented <laughs> and I, I feel like if we asked your coworkers, they would say Shasha, Sasha's ama like we we want Sasha's amazing like I feel like almost to the point where like well you know I don't like you could you could probably take more like yeah I think a lot of credit is probably due to you at you places know, you've worked I uh can tell you that my company is ridiculous. Yeah. In terms of it has so much talent in it that you kind of oh, like really? disappearing. There is wow. always yeah, That's it's, even it's insane. better though. Like, oh, it's, I'm okay it's with really that. it's really good. It's really you're good. Gonna, you're cuz here you're amazing. Uh, and then just surrounded by a pool of talent. Yeah, and you like I uh, do lots of 3D work and uh, like for example, you have something like, you know, you have very specific task and you like it, there are people who can just write a plugin to solve your particular problem, <laughs> or like a shader. And like, you always find someone who's like, hey, how do I do that? So it's but, it's phenomenal. Yeah. You, you kind of, <laughs> but it's very inspiring too, because you can just sit still, it's nonstop, people doing some awesome stuff, and you just like, I gotta, gotta kind of keep up. Yeah, no, but it's like you're getting inspired, yeah. but then you're amazed that like you just wrote that plugin. Yep, yep. But I would just like, be like, wow, you guys are so smart. I would be smart. like, but can you do can you do a handstand? That's what I would say. To I them. don't know. They probably can. <laughs> <laughs>
They probably can. I wouldn't be surprised. They're all superhuman. <laughs> no, they are. It's ridiculous. And uh, they actually like bring lots of foreigners. Like my company is lots of foreigners. It just really? partly because they just find whoever is good at what they do and they just like bring them. And that's what I mean. That's what that's what I'd like to think that we do here, like on Adobe Live, is try oh. to bring in the best talent we can get. Yeah. And and, and at, like w we want them to sit right next to everybody who's watching and like just watch you work and learn with you know. It's so learn what it's you're so doing. so so important to like be surrounded by talent, like not talented people. Talent is something which I think talent is mostly passion, really, because it's all about how many hours you're willing to put mm -hmm. into it. Yeah. And uh, if you're willing to put this much, this many hours, then you are talented. But it's all, <laughs> it's all because of passion. It's, it's all really. Like, it's all, you're right. It's like, I feel like it's all, it's all hard work. Yeah, so but like it takes passion to put in the work. Yes, you know? because otherwise you just will not have enough patience. And, yeah, uh, like everybody wants to be awesome, but like, no, like, Put in, put in, make something a craft, be a craftsman. Yeah. So I really think that, uh, like, talent is um, sort of like, I obviously different people are different and some has, um, like, things they, like, maybe originally when they were kids were better at, but um, I don't really believe in talent. I believe in the amount of hours you put into I, it. I, I fully agree with you. And you, again, like a seasoned professional, hmm. like you, you kind of learn what it takes. And it's just, there's no shortcuts to like the hard work and just, and I, we make it sound like hard work. No, it, you should be like, that's where you said, that's why you said passion though, right? Yeah, yeah. If you it's have like passion something and you, you just, you sit down and you make things happen because you're really passionate about it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, like I've been doing it for a long time. Like um, I, I went to, I went to art school when I was six years old. Like I, I what? I, yeah. So, uh, y you know, working in an international company, you talk to lots of people from all over the world, and it's like, it's great. But um, I've been surprised that, like, Russia has lots of art schools by default. Like every really? second kid goes. Well, I don't know I how know now, this. but about like like when I was mm. growing up, it was either art school, uh, like a like a craft art school, or music school. It's something mm. you would go after regular school. So really? yeah, that's something to get the kids out of the house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then that's something I've been doing like since I was six years old, and then I went to the art college and stuff like this. But idea is there's always was someone who was better than me. Like Where, I never, um, I never was like mm -hmm. the best. In what How I did do. you line up in art school? Were you like pretty good? Where would I you always, say that? Where, like, I, where were you I'm at? I'm always usually good. Like I'm always like you know, B plus, sometimes mm -hmm. A, sometimes A. But uh, it's like there always was this person who would be, just break all the rules of possible and impossible and just kill it and it's just like oh my god I never will be like like them they're too good but then it just uh, it's it's all about like passion it's like yeah. how many like if you will do it for many years it just mm -hmm. do you wh where are we talking are you in were you in Moscow St. Petersburg oh I I'm like I'm but from a small those are the only two places I know though by the way good job <laughs> and uh, Sochi Sochi Sochi, the yeah. games. Yeah. Uh, no, my hometown called Izhevsk. Uh, Izhevsk. It's like a thousand miles east from uh, Moscow. So, okay, let, let's switch to the next layer. I'm done with this layer. Let's switch to the next layer, which would be um, same deal. I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing the thing, turning it into flatten it, flatten it, flatten it, and with. Control L, uh -huh. going to the levels, and um, separating, in this case, this guy here. Okay. The highlights. The highlights, yes. Um, and um, turn it, turning it into my favorite layer uh, masks. Sorry, I'm just. Uh, Alyssa is a new art student. Congratulations, that's awesome, Alyssa. I think you're in the right place. So hang out with us. Yeah, it's fun. It's 
so much. And you have a passion to learn animation? Sasha here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she does that. What? No problem, you do animation. I'm... Well, you do motion design, or well, what did you um, call it? Um, I work as a motion designer, which means uh, I uh, do, oh, so wait, 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 wait. Let's turn it into the, okay, about motion design. Mm -hmm. Motion design means um, um, it's a pipeline. There are lots of people doing it. I mostly do frames. So when concept comes in, the projects comes in, and um, either we need to show the client how it's going to look, or we, like if there's an animator, and the animator need to see how it's going to evolve, evolve. Uh, that's where I come in. Like, for example, uh, let me show you. Uh, uh, so it's not to the level of storyboarding. It's, but it's pre no, it's pretty much or... like when we worked on this North Face commercial. It was like, what you do as a designer? You start like you get the uh, s uh, the like story from the client mm -hmm. or agency. Like this is this kind or, of what this yeah. the producer or whatever. Like yeah. this is the story we want to tell. And then you just go and develop in uh, like uh, frame by frame the story, like what's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, and then uh, animator turn it into life. Or this particular thing was like before the shoot and they shot it accordingly, the storyboards. Well, in this case, it's not a storyboard. It is, it's, it's the, those are frames. Storyboards usually just a, um, just a sketch images. Okay. But sometimes, like for example, in this Sony Bravia OLED, um, like I actually, like I didn't do any animation, but I had to build, so the, I, yeah, I, I to needed build. to do the concept. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, modeling the um, like all the stuff. Not uh, not. <laughs> it wasn't just me modeling all the stuff, but lots of this it. This is already after the client has has signed off on the project, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. So first stage was usually like um, it depends. We're getting projects in the different phases. Sometimes it's the pitch phase where you need to actually. Uh, convince client that like this is what you want, mm -hmm. or sometimes it's already um, like agency, for example, want a pitch and they uh, need someone to like execute produce it. it. Yes, yeah. so it's different. This one actually was really cool because uh, that was my concept. So okay, yeah. is this considered concept art? Concept or? art is what you do on the concept stage. So usually it's more like a you know photo bust images or just the, I mean, concept art is whatever it is in, on just the concept phase. It could be whatever. Okay, gotcha. So you could have even like multiple yeah, tech concepts te maybe. Multiple techniques and everything. But this is so, that's so wild because those frames that you're building everything out, you're, you're building so much and that's not even the final product. It's kind of like, uh, I would, well, yeah. sometimes it's not a final product, but sometimes, like for example, with, with this pinball thing, uh, it was great because uh, that's actually what become a final product. They took my models and animated it. Yeah, they, have, so, they got the easy job. Oh, you already have everything by, built. You're welcome. By the way, you're welcome, guys. By the way, I recently learned that huh? Adobe bought Substance Painter. Yeah, which I'm excited very about excited that? about. Yes. Like using all oh, the good. Photoshop tools in Substance Painter. Hopefully, like, uh, it will get developed in the right direction. Oh, yeah. Well, and the exciting thing for every Creative Cloud member, is, at least what I'm thinking about, is like, we just don't know what's going to happen, but I, we'll see if it goes in Creative Cloud. Like, I want to see it in oh, Creative yeah, Cloud. Oh, yeah, that would be so amazing. Right? I would and save so much money like on it. Drop it in, because <laughs> oh, that's kind of what we've been doing. No, like, if like all the tools will become like coherent with Photoshop and if like it will become part of Creative Cloud. So, sub I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, sub Substance Painter just allows you to create the textures yes. and materials for uh, 3D models. Materials is Substance Designer and uh, textures is uh, Substance Painter. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And you can do some phenomenal, phenomenal things there. Like for example, the, the uh, tigers were done in Substance Painter. Okay. And are you like painting on the actual model? Uh, yeah, you actually bring a model into that software and then 
just painting there on top of it and there are like lots of different presets already you can mix and match it's very much like Photoshop. Okay, and it's, is it intuitive? It's very intuitive. Like cool. if you good, if if you done Photoshop before, like it takes you just like watch you watch tutorial and then in like a couple hours you're doing it. So uh, it's kind of awesome. Uh, it's so, so hopefully, Luke, your question was answered. Uh, Yeah, I mean, it's cool that you, you know, building out these frames, you know, there's the concept art. So you have the concept, but you're kind of developing the look for the piece. Does that sound correct? Yeah, it's, di again, absolutely different stages all the time. Sometimes there is already concept, and you're just supporting the concept okay. with your frames, developing the look. Yeah, it's called look, de uh, look def. Um, so uh, sometimes there is no concept, and it's on me to, like, create a concept, uh, which is always so much fun because, you know, it's fun to be a, a first person uh, with a vision for the project. Uh, but whatever it is, it's always fun. It's mm -hmm. uh, like... I think what you're doing, like, looks fun and, and just, like, kind of peaceful. You kind of just get lost in it, just, oh, like, yeah. it's just listening to some podcast or... I don't know, some, well, watching it, some it, Game it, of Thrones yeah, on, on this, the TV. In this know. kind of work, you can easily just watch something. <laughs> but sometimes, yes, with other type of work, you have to, to like fully be present. Hey, Alyssa, Alyssa Tavares, never used Photoshop, must try after today. I think you should. Uh, just <laughs> yes, everyone should. Yeah. I'm like, it's not like we're Adobe or anything, but sure, yeah, give it a try. Uh, check out the challenge tab. If you do want to get started, you can use some stock images and then post to that form link in uh, 22 minutes. Woohoo! Good. I like it. Get him out. So this is all very fun and very meditative, meditative, meditative. So the fun part will start. Do you, does the freedom you have with with the pro project does it depend on the project or like does a lot of it come from the art director? Or um, does it depend? I'm sure it again, depends. It depends on the on projects. Everything. Yes, yeah. sometimes it's it's all so so depends like. Your creative director is important because, like, um, some creative directors want uh, like more of their vision. Some wants just to like give you more freedom to do mm -hmm. whatever. Um, and same with the clients, like an agencies. Like what we do is a production company, which means uh, we are people who actually. Things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but uh, there's agencies. Uh, Burn. Who, no, agencies do a very important job with like creating a concept, uh, uh, like developing a relationship with a client, and just um, pretty much they're the first stage of the project. And uh, um, it depends also on the agency. Some agencies come come in already like with a strong idea of what they want, and they just need like a pretty execution of what they want, mm -hmm. which is always still so much fun, like, uh, because you can just, y you just need to make the best possible image for them. Yeah, uh, it's good It's good going in it knowing what the art yeah. director's like. Like, yeah. this one's a control freak. Okay, I just gotta sit down and be the hand extended. No, actually, it never happened to me. Like, I, uh, I know yeah, it happened. Yeah, because you're, you're talented. I would do the same thing. <laughs> I, I'm, I, if I was the art director, I'd be showing up at like maybe 11. Be like, you're killing it. You just take, you just do your thing. But I, then I'm gonna swoop in and take all the credit in the end. Nobody takes anyone's credit. It's, okay, that's good. I'm just kind of giving you a hard this way. time. <laughs> but I, being very fortunate with all my creative directors, my entire life, because, like, especially actually in Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, stuff I learned, I learned from them, and they were so cool about, like, just teaching. Uh, like, I feel like U.S. and Russia is a little bit different mentality in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, how company works inside. So many things are better here, like, 
scheduling. Oh my god, scheduling is so much better here. But oh yeah. Uh, in terms of like, if you're a new designer, here you kind of still have to figure stuff on your own. Mm -hmm. Where there, they um, trying to. Um. Well, whatever. It's it's different in different cases. Everybody's like really. I agree with Voodoo Val and everyone. They're like it's very, very satisfying and and watching you work. Yeah. Just to watching you clean up with the brush. This is like very. We could watch you do that all day. Okay. So now, we and let's. But do you're like, no, I'm done. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I have 20 minutes. I have to finish I need to this. Finish I have this. I have the deadline with for you. this. Thank for you this very, very much. I know. This very, very strict boss. No, it's who's you. I'm just kidding. Continue. That's awesome. I've do you like so when you went to art school? What did you What did you do in art school? Like, what was your major? Well, I'm actually an engineer. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> oh man, it's like really. She's like left and right brain. Uh, but um, it's just uh, we still. So it, it, it's really like, you didn't go to art school. No, it was did? like a. Um, degree which combined uh, uh, technology and art. So I'm actually kind of like a furniture designer by my education. So oh, I can, really? yeah. But um, it's it was lots of like chemistry and how metal reacts with each other and what this, what's the best possible uh, I don't know constructions decision for this thing, uh, but also some uh, just regular uh, composition, art theory, uh, drawing, uh, all this stuff. You, lots of lots of engineer drawing. That's what's, that's that's, that's what I think is like kind of makes you know C four D and stuff like that pretty pretty easy to to work with. I think so. Yeah, it, I know. think it helped. And you do use C four D, right? Yeah, I do C four D. But before I was doing three uh, DS Max, uh, but because the, the meal is uh, meal plus. Uh, is mostly uh, C4D, I uh, switched and turned out, I was really afraid to switch from one software to another and it turned out it's Yeah, C4D is pretty, I mean, I think it's pretty easy. 3D can be pretty complex, but C4D is like yeah, easy. Yeah, very, very, very friendly, very awesome. Yeah. You did that in the Jack Ryan stuff in C4D? Uh, yeah, it was uh, uh, cool. lots of um, particles. So now I'm just really doing some couple highlights to make it just a little better. And after that, I'll do a fun part, which I wanted to show you guys. What? <laughs> Nothing. Everybody's like, I was complimenting you and everybody, and Paul's, somebody's like, you're also, you're an engineer, you're good at art, you're, you're probably good at music and a star athlete. Oh, actually. We're at this point, we are not surprised. So no. I don't want to hear you're a ballerina. <laughs> are you a ballerina? No, I'm like, <laughs> I'm really bad at music and any sort of like athletic activities. Just totally yeah. suck at it. Tammy, hello. What's up, gang? Oh, we have gosh. more guests. Hello. hello. Okay, so. Um, Good luck tonight, Temmie. You talking or doing something, right? Yeah, I'm talking. Oh, yeah. We have a little Black History Month thing going on here downstairs here in a little bit, or at least in the offices. So, uh, Temmie, Temmie Coker, C-O-C-K-E-R, uh, is going to be uh, presenting tonight with Terry White. So. Black History Month took it. This is looking awesome. Yeah, it does look awesome, but it's like some of right the, now, but you're still are you still working on the highlights? Those I'm, little I'm, bright. I'm, are I'm, you gonna add? Are you thinking about adding that extra layer or how you? Where I, you uh, at? I think I'm already done with that. Okay. One thing I'm missing right now, like you see how side of her face is just totally flat here, and I don't like it. So I want to bring a little bit of it um, into life. So I'm going to just come back to my uh, this thing and get in here so I'll have I, a little bit of this yeah that's good and that that's kind of where I was getting at when I was asking you about like what you went to school for if you if you can if you can do if you can just do traditional like illustration or I mean or what? I like I like I, what do you kind of I mean I, I can't paint and draw but I'm not the best at it like yeah. there are people who are 
Amazing. But you kind of know, I think you need to know in this case, I don't I don't think you could just take a photo and start manipulating it like, I mean, you can, but you need to understand like how the body works. And it helps to be like an illustrator it, to like understand how, how uh, maybe an engineer might understand that there needs to be that jawline. I'm, I'm, and I'm not a good engineer, believe me. That's why I'm okay. a designer. Okay, gotcha. We found a flaw. She's, she's not the best engineer. She's like an okay engineer. Which means she can only do some rock. She can only engineer some rockets that that break the atmosphere, but not all of them. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you Just guys. Your, yeah. <laughs> so um, I'm going to something didn't. Yes, yeah, Cedric. Yeah, Temi Temi Coker. From one of the creative residents is here. He just had to step out. He says he's so popular. So, but this is looking good. Okay, so I'm almost done with those parts, and now I I'm love going how to you show went back and show and and realized that there maybe there does need to be more of an accent with the jawline. Yeah. So okay, from here I'll show you the fun part, like um, which. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to add some. First of all, this will go to this other layer. See, I'm just going to grab the my. Was this way? Okay. Um, I'm going to show you some interesting way to blend in things. So. Um, I'm going to group everything, uh, transfer this mask into the group, and I'm going to uh, uh, convert everything into smart objects so I have uh, ability to add more masks. Um, okay, so let's start one by one. Uh, I'm turning it, turning my mid tones into the smart object, object getting my mask and grabbing soft brush and changing my brush into dissolve and this okay this is gonna add a little bit and this is on a new clipping mask okay yeah so just a new layer yeah you can, is this just add a little bit of textures it's you know how like right now it looks very harsh I actually need it in opposite way I don't like that it goes in this way I'm going to just um, do it in um. Jan Eriks started following you on Behance feel free to check Thank out the you. info tab follow yeah, her he's, as, he's as gonna start stalking you online hopefully that's okay but he's gonna keep uh, it respectful yeah I I actually have uh, most of like my works on Instagram. There's some stuff which I don't post on Behance because it's kind of like not good enough for the entire project, but some things here and there. Um, okay, so I am doing those gradations to make it a little bit more like, you know, um, I think even like you could probably like some some other thoughts kind of going forward sometime mm -hmm. would be, you know, checking out some of Kyle. Do you know Kyle Webster's brushes? Oh yeah, I know Kyle's Webster's brushes. Because <laughs> <laughs> he has like comic book ones, like different yeah, things that yeah. could like you know it would be another option for some of these oh, edges. Yeah. Just Absolutely, for... there are so many good brushes. Like I'm doing just like showing kind of basic stuff, but yeah, you can go wild here. Yeah, and Kyle's brush is awesome. Luke James is winning the question contest because he's asking plenty, which we always appreciate. Questions keep them coming. So there is, I would, you talk about Photoshop, like 3D in Photoshop. Yeah, we've we've used it. Just so you know, there is Adobe Dimension. We'd encourage you to check that out. Oh, it doesn't allow for modeling. We'll show it to you, like, nice. over the next couple days. But um, it allows you to bring in models and add textures and so that's like that's a connection but now, where but, I could, but now you have substance painter I know. that's where you can this is where <laughs> that's where it gets super interesting yeah. and I love this so much where everything you're doing I want to steal everything you're doing I want to steal it and say I thought of it 
Just kidding. <laughs> but it looks so good. Is everybody not impressed? Come on now. I just love what you're doing here. I'm so Thank impressed. You. Just stop it already. Almost done, so almost good. done. Okay, so... Um, and you have less than 10 minutes before the challenge submission Cool, ends. cool, 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 cool. Um, so... I, I want to show you the final result and uh, like the better things to... Uh, like what, what other tricks were used and stuff. Okay, so from here, let's say this is my illustration, sort of like this is too harsh too. Into. So you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of just blending in places where it's just like feels to me that it's a little too harsh. Okay, so here I can add color. And in order to do so, I'm just, um, I'm just picking colors. and uh, using them. I agree. Uh, Voodoo Val loves the jewel insects on your Instagram. Yeah, it's, it was really fun to make. So. Those okay. are 3D that you. Yeah. It was 3D. I could totally see like text, uh, what did we call it? What is it? Substance Painter. Um, Would you use that here? Um, for this one, it was just a procedural materials, but uh, some uh, f for some other stuff, um, like um, more like, well, for example, if you check the Instagram and, well, this is not here. Um, where do I have them? Sorry, that's... Hmm. Yeah, like lots of mm, this stuff was done in, with the uh, substance painter, like all this stuff, all this oh, nice okay. inside, like how everything's dark and lighter. This was all a substance painter, all those nice wear and tears and just uh, painterly stuff. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, that's really cool. Super cool. Uh, Luke brings up portfolios. By the way, Luke, perfect time for that is on Thursday. We're gonna have portfolio reviews. And that's when you're gonna hear all, all your advice, all our advice, all Sasha's advice around portfolios, what to keep in them, just like ask anything you want. Oh yeah. Um, today, that could be tomorrow. Fun. Yeah, usually it's it gets pretty pretty inspiring. But uh Today and tomorrow is all about building that portfolio as we're working on these challenges. Okay, so. Um, should I go to the final file and just show the yeah. other stuff? Like um, the, or should I just keep going? How much time do we have? Uh, well, you have, well, there's like six minutes to where we go over the challenges. At the end, we'll probably have five, 10 minutes left over too. Okay. So I'm okay like if you want to whatever you want to do. I don't I don't know what were you um, planning on I can um show the final file because uh, there are certain things I wanted to talk about. Oh, let's and do then, it. And then I don't know. And I then we can kind of take a else. look at some things and be like how did you do that part? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, uh those are already things. So, in the end, this was my final result. Uh, obviously, I spent a little bit more time here working on it. Can we hit F? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I kind of made up some whatever um, title because I announced that it will be title design, so that's why, but it's mm -hmm. just random. Um, I wanted to show you uh, uh, some interesting techniques how to work on things. So. Um, I did some graphic, obviously, I'm not going to tell you how I did graphic, it's, I think, more or less obvious, just, you know, uh, uh, you trace icon in, in shapes, adding the same way I did with the shapes, the A dissolve brush. brush. Would dissolve, yeah, yeah. yeah, I added this texture, then this, the figure, 
Uh, Looks great. Thank you. So everybody says beautiful. It's beautiful. Same deal. So um, on top, as you see, I added some extra strokes. Oh, to that makes a difference. Break up the. Um, I could tell you, spent. It looks like I like the detail in that hair. Like, and hair is tough to do. You yeah, know? yeah. I spend a little bit more time doing hair, um, and. I also Gradation. used overlay of the actual image on top of it. Yes, slow clap. So, yeah. Slow clap, that's so good. That's such a good but move. You just need to use it just enough for it to be not noticeable, because yeah. as soon as it goes through, it kind of might kill the thing. Yeah. Plus, um, um, I used some extra color, see? Like, to make it a little bit more interesting, mm -hmm. too. I like the, oh yeah, okay. So this is, and, and, and this thing is the gradient too. So I did this like slight gradients mm -hmm. to- I feel that. Blended it in more. And then the interesting part was I, uh, print noise, which was fun. Uh, just I like those extra little splatters too. Yeah. So are those just found like textures that you got it's, somewhere? It's just uh, from my library of yeah. stuff I uh, uh, developed over the years, um, and then to add a little bit of this half tone effect, I did mm. the. Um, let me go through that effects layer. I agree with you, Val, and you know, Eric. Like. Your work's inspiring. Good, thanks. Um, so I'm merging everything, converting into a smart filter, uh, going to filter, uh, pixelate, and half tone. In this particular case, it will be four pixels. Turn it into this, and mm. I'm just mixing it in like just a little bit to give this hint of the printing ah. technique. But, Another slow clap. <laughs> but like just enough, just a touch. See that? That's a good one, Val, huh? Like that's good, that's good. And um, then um, I use this uh, You kind texture. of, it's been smoothed out like more and more mm -hmm. as yeah. you've so it, done some I, of I this work. I think one of the problems with illustrations is um, that sometimes you can see too much out of box look. Like, yeah, people either filters or like this separation by tones. Mm -hmm. And as, as soon as you can like make it more custom and more uh, just yours, that's like, it adds value and just makes it look a little different. Yeah. Um, and on top of it, I love this. See how much difference does it make to add this um, is that a gra is that is that another noise lit green yeah. like yeah. okay level uh, yeah it's it's oh, just okay. this yeah and on the screen and, and and a little bit of color correction on top so, that's so cool and, and then can you can you even switch back to your original like storyboard like your references your reference mm -hmm. images because yep. I want to kind of because were you thinking about some of these kind of as you were working like because so, I feel like these have some of that some texture and everything. Um, I don't know about the texture. Maybe they have. It wasn't like an intention to like. I for sure uh, used uh, like the lines, you mm -hmm. know, uh, like uh, some graphic, and th I, I liked that uh, this style uses graphic approach and design approach. Mm -hmm. I think it just makes it more interesting. Yeah, and uh, this was the style. I was going for in terms of like the yeah. actual thing, and obviously it's different, but like to Still. me, close enough. Yeah, so cool. And turn on that type too, because I think you did a great job with that type layer. Oh yeah, so type is um, an interesting thing too, because like I just put the type in the um, same mask with a dissolve brush, and everything is on difference. So see if I change it to normal. Mm. Or, but in difference, it kind of inverts the image. So yeah, it does. I've never used difference. Like I've never found a place to use it. 
but sometimes you there. find interesting approaches to a blend modes you never used. And I you're know, like, right? he here's the moment <laughs> I gotta use the blend mode I never used in 10 years. I know, right? It's <laughs> like I finally found a use for it. Yeah. Well, yes, Brienne. Brienne, I am in love, and you all should be in love with Sasha because she's like amazing. I think she's inspired, like myself and Val, like just creating a fun project. Again, you're like we threw something at you. We know you do this for a living, but like now is a chance to just make something that you just want to make that will be cool. I you know? love this so much. Like most of the time, I either do some tutorial or like there's some pro uh, like project for mm -hmm. work. But uh, this was. As I said, so much fun. We're just like, here, do something, do something. Yeah, and I like I encourage everybody. Like, that I'm so glad these are being recorded. You could watch these later, scrub through them, pause them, do all that fun stuff. Because yeah, and I'm I planning. A lot. I'm planning on uh, like uh, posting a project with all the uh, files, so you guys can grab it and Ooh, that dissect would be awesome. it. That would be. I think everybody would be interested in this. In this PSD, because I think you were go, you were going kind of fast, like you were just working at your speed, which might be fast for some people. But having the actual PSD and be able to turn off those layers would be like, I think it'd be pretty valuable. Yeah, for yeah, people. yeah. Uh, absolutely, I'm going to share all that stuff. Yeah, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And on deadline, as Voodoo Val says, <laughs> that is the deadline, folks. So we'll give this a second. Oh. But thank you so much for watching, oh. everyone. I'm going to the competition. Oh yeah! So exciting. Let's check it out. Not these two. <laughs> what are these amateurs? Yeah, what are they doing there? <laughs> what are they like? What? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is the challenge tab. And just combine at least two images in Photoshop to create a surreal scene. Right? So do that. You can use Adobe Stock Images. Someone might see some watermarks, watermarks. Not a big deal. And swear, share using that form right here and then go view gallery. So feel free to jump in and appreciate all these works. Let's scroll down. This is the starting point. Just a big thank you to everybody submitting today. See, Ashy, I, I like Eunice. this one because a concept. Everything should have a concept. Yeah. <laughs> I love the concept. It's like when you are going to make an art, make it intentional. Yeah. Like, try to like, think of a concept, it's always helps. Yes, it definitely like tells tells a story, which is awesome. Ashi, great job. Yeah, very cool. Just continue working. Ryan, Ooh. soon. Wow. Good company. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's like he was part of a, a, a special team that would have to, would get shrunk down to a certain size to put all these black peppercorns <laughs> back in the little jar. <laughs> yeah. My my only thought uh, would be to match the blurriness of the images. Yep. So, but other than that, the colors and values like yeah. comp perfectly. Which usually I think people would mess up there because mm -hmm. like the, the 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 blacks aren't black, like the darks mm -hmm. aren't black. Mm -hmm. So good job, agreed. Yeah. Jennifer Thompson, here we go. Wait for this to load. Uh oh, this is a large one. Ooh. Let's go to this one here. Uh, I can't turn off the Simba in my head right now. <laughs> but yeah, good job. It's same deal, concept, making concept. Mm -hmm. Yeah, super strong. And then just work on matching the tones yeah, maybe. Yeah. Match those tones, make sure the blacks are even. But great job. Uh, Brienne, oh, this is, I always love this look. It's taking a second to load. I like it. I personally like yeah. it very, very much because yeah. here's the combination of the design, like adding some design shapes to it. Plus, I love the colors, like yeah. uh, the red, yellows, and a little bit of complementary colors. Mm -hmm. Good job. Says like high fashion to me as well. Like, yeah. and this is kind of look super artsy, so artsy high fashion into it. Good job, <laughs> Brienne. <laughs> Nicole Anderson. Happy giraffes. Oh yeah, you know. <laughs> hey, has anybody seen those giraffes that were in the zoo? Anybody see them? Good company. That's cool. Yeah. Good job. Nicole Anderson, Tristan Stokes. I view this one a little larger. Everybody is uploading these very <laughs> large files. So this, I can't really tell what was composited, which 
is good thing, I guess. Is awesome. Yeah. Like if you have some serious compositing, I'm mm. I think that's awesome. Yeah. It's, I'm sure the sky back there, because usually the it, with a photo like that, you the sky would get blown out. Yeah. Right. I mean, um, Typically. Mm -hmm. For this one. Right? In order to get all this detail, if the sun is back here, this sun is lighting up this whole sky. I bet you anything that this sky is what was comped in. Yeah, I could be wrong. Um, yeah, I love this. Colors is so nice. So <laughs> bold and strong. Just awesome. Love it. Uh-huh. Yeah, fun to look at. Absolutely. Merrily. Matte painting. Lovely. Oh yeah. Hey, where's the where's the big arena fight tonight? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be up on the side of the mountain. You gotta climb there. You first. gotta risk your life to get there, but good job matching the colors and everything. <laughs> Maria. Magical breed. Trechlova. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. Colors. Mm -hmm. Interesting concept again. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. I feel like this is my life. Yeah. I'm balancing Trying out. Trying to balance rocks, and guess what? You have to balance on top of all those rocks. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? Upside down. <laughs> Upside down. You gotta do that handstand. I'm like, handstand? I'll do handstand. Because those are fun. Good job, Robert. Derek Carlin. What somebody needs to do is like Photoshop you or one of us into a comp. Then we know it was done that day. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, like they have the shadow, the, excuse me, the reflections. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, no. do you assume that they, I think they were mocked? Yeah, yeah, but, the, in? but I like how uh, everything, like the lighting matches on the photos. I feel like the biggest thing uh, composing two photos together is to find uh, photos which are matching lighting wise, because yeah. you can kill yourself trying to match lightings, but in my experience, it's not going to work 90%. So mm -hmm. just finding some photos which are actually ma matching lighting wise, mm -hmm. good job. Yeah, because they're very much even toned and they're in this whole scene that mm -hmm. there's like much more going on in there. Yeah. But good job, Derek. Mm. Here's another one, just like, <laughs> this is the case where like, I don't know, I think we were talking about this earlier. You're having a problem matching the colors. <laughs> you know what, just just, just make it all one. Just, just do one tone. There, we got out of the color issue. And it actually works. Like, it actually that's, works here. Uh, that's what I'm going to talk, actually, on third day on, like, um, uh, comping uh, images together in, like, matte painting. One of the techniques is actually to break it into value and color. So you match it first in black and white. Mm -hmm. So you can know that your values are correct. And then match it in color. I'm going to show it. that technique, but that's, yeah. That's kind of what was happening here. Like, the, yeah, the, yeah. the, the intention is right. Knew, yeah. Very good, Derek. Derek's giving it his all. Number Ooh, three. dragons! Yay! Super fun. He's like, hey, wait a minute, you two up there. <laughs> this is actually a Game of Thrones scene. This is the area, uh, obviously, with her um, she wolf and the dragons, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very much. I think it's straight out, a scene straight out of the. Game of Thrones, yeah. <laughs> maybe a little lower budget version, just slightly, but it's the claymation version. Mm -hmm. Owen Foster. Wow, that's deep, deep. Yeah, just kind of, you know, man, when you're just like hit Travel it. Travel in between the worlds. You're, that, you're kayaking and you're just like in the flow and you're just like, you're in another world, man. That's what that's like. Rachel Rice. Mm, nice. Is, good job. Yeah, good, I like good, it. Good call. I, I, I almost would just do it on just black background. I think it would be stronger. Oh, I agree. Okay, yeah. I, uh, I think to so. To keep like, everything simpler, but the actual yeah. interest area. And just play. I would say like just like play with it some more. Mm -hmm. You can have so many more ins and outs and yeah. stuff. But I think it's a great concept. Yeah, great, great job. So many cool. Brianne Hadley, look at you. So good. Brianne, hopefully you're still with us. That. Great photo. The only thing I would say, gotta match the glasses inside too. <laughs> match the glasses. The 
uh, what you see through the glasses and the background behind. Uh, oh, right there. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, this part right there. Hmm. You're good. You are good. That's why you are, I guess. Brianne's like, here, I'll show you one better. Here, one more. Here's one more. Here's one more. <laughs> well, our is I think, long I think maybe time at least do. like over the next couple days, we'll probably talk about Refine Edge, and Refine Edge would just do wonders there. It's like mm. super easy. Yeah. But Venus, Mercury, really into what you're doing, Brianne. Yeah, serious. Oh, number three. Why not Saturn? Let's yeah. just get, let's get, I think I'm noticing a theme here. <laughs> I love the ins and outs of like the elbow behind, she's in front. Yeah, the uh, design uh, aspect of it. You like know, I'd put her hand in front of the R, that might be kind yeah, of fun. That would be I cool. like the butterflies. One thing which I like here that it's a series, I, I think what makes your work stronger to work sometimes in a series mm -hmm. because it's just more interesting to look at and you can tell more in a series than in just one work. Okay. So, some, yeah. Something to think about. I like it. But way cool, kind of like what you're doing. Graphic element with like a photo. It's like this is clever too. Yeah. Good job, Sam. It's funny. <laughs> I know. I don't know where we're at. Oh, no. I don't, I'm not sure where we're at in the lineup. Let's check time. Okay, we're doing good. Hopefully, we're not going too fast. And now, I don't know how many we have. Very cool. Super fun. Lots of compositing going on here. We got, you know, probably one, two, three, you yeah. know, four images. Good job. Just work on those selections. Color tones look good. Felicia. Oof. Very surreal. Lots of patterns. Well, yeah. Just jaggers and the mushrooms and yeah. unicorns. <laughs> That's a surreal scene, all right, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> totally, totally nailed the theme. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you nailed, definitely nailed the theme. Uh, let's scroll up. Let's refresh. Ooh, oh, a couple. Ooh, uh, some cool stuff. The, well, oh, mm, well, uh, oh. Res <laughs> I'll review these two. Okay. Justin, and now, since we have time, this is a thousand times like stronger than the earlier one, I think. I don't know what's happening, but I'm into it. And I feel like, you know, she's working kind of based on kind of what you were doing. It's very yeah, no, it's, it's really cool. Again, the combination of graphic design and photo. You just Love amp it. this up, make this not so washed out, right? Mm -hmm. Like white, white, you know, really cool. Eve G. Oh, I like the already the retro look of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The stylized thing. That's fun. Yeah. Again, the concept. Good job. Mm-hmm. Nice print. Yeah. Fun. Good job. Just to uh, put a title and we'll be an album cover. Yeah. Cover. Yeah, it's so <laughs> total. This is like Pink Floyd or yeah. something. Or whatever big, if this was a Russian band, who would it be? Don't know. Do you, you don't know. know. But give name a name a Russian rock band aside from Scorpions. Uh, Scorpions are Scorpions or, or no? Gorky Park. Oh, yeah, Scorpions or Scorpions. Uh, I, I really don't. And we're going old. This is like late '80s. Sorry. When I'm, you know, I'm usually turning <laughs> on some like a uh, like epic movie soundtrack. Imagine okay. I have like a giant sword behind and just. Like, uh, okay. Just so. you're just playing uh, whatever Lord of the Rings soundtrack yeah. or something. Uh, yeah, the theme of Rohan. Rohan, yeah. Cool. Wow, look at so many entries in here. Nice. Any uh, favorites? I know we covered a lot. We started here. I think I like this one a lot. Yeah. <sighs> Brienne bringing her A game. <laughs> Her A, B, and C game, because she posted about, you know, three or four different yeah, pieces. talking about being productive. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Slow down. I feel lazy around Brienne making... I, this just says high fashion to me, like when mm. you're putting that butterfly over mm. the eyes. There were also some other stuff I liked a lot. Like, um, I think uh, the 
this was obviously where you uh, yeah high just quality. to tighten that up a little bit and it's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. And just a little blurry. And I like this one a lot too with the colors. Yeah. The colors are pretty, very pretty. But yeah, yeah lots, lots of good stuff. Yeah. I'm impressed with the, just an hour work. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is my favorite as well, Marcus. I don't know which one you're talking about, but <laughs> maybe one of the ones we picked. <laughs> Hopefully. So good. So many awesome pieces. Mm -hmm. Take take some of these tips that just like work. You know, I think the thin letters, you know, spaced out like that, that's a technique that's like super strong. Mm -hmm. This in and out work, stuff like that. I want to switch back to yours because it deserves to be seen again. Well, as we, and we saw it five minutes, wow. Yeah, like what should I uh, tell you guys? Like there actually were so many things I wanted to show. How did you, I'm curious as to how you did those swords. Like how you got them oh. around that circle in a perfect fashion. Oh, this is like, uh, was, oh, nope. Um. <laughs> Where did my panel go? That's sorry. I'm just totally failing here. You gotta go. Oh, my... uh, yeah, so go to arrange or go to workspace, and then down near the bottom, reset essentials because I think we got it all Click. wacky. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, so uh, the sword was easy to do. So. I um, pretty much created a sword, which a sword, sword, <laughs> a sword. sword. <laughs> uh, I created a sword and uh, placed it where it's supposed to be. Con Control J duplicated it. Control T with Shift 90 degrees, putting it in here. Proper people do it in Illustrator, not me. <laughs> uh, uh, I know, I was waiting either you or someone else to say that. Go ahead. Selecting both, doing con uh, Control J, or Control J to copy. Oh, to duplicate, yeah. Uh, control T with Shift, then it Oop. here. Now uh, select all four. Yeah, again Control J. It's not the proper way oh. to do it. Not the proper way no, to do it. Hey, not the things to learn. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You got it done. I don't care. Like you're doing, you're getting paid. How yeah. do you get paid? So, yep. That's so many swords. So many swords. But yeah, that's how <laughs> how I usually do it. And um, also one tip on um, on uh, some graphic here too. I really like. Voodoo Val does it the same way, by the way. Okay. This the is always what happens. The, the everybody, <laughs> everybody thinks they're a weirdo until they realize like everybody does it that way. So I do it too. You did it fast. Um, I like using uh, shapes. So see, this one is actually sh a shape. Nice. So and I did you just trace a sword or yeah, find just, one? Like uh, I just I, 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 I just drew a sword and then traced it in the um, like. Because it's a simple shape, same deal with the crown. Mm -hmm. So, and see with shapes, it's really cool because you can control the thickness of your lines and it's all not distractive. You can make them smaller, bigger, yeah. the, li the lines hold on. And same deal with this, it's just a shape again. Or, uh, yeah, so. The shapes with the just no fill in, just showing that it was a shape. Mm -hmm. And uh, using stroke size is a uh, uh, so when you actual shape. you made a circle. Yeah, uh, where's that circle at? What circle? The, this circle. Where is it? What do you mean? Yeah, like is it? It, it, did you use an ellipse over here? Or yeah, did yeah. You... I totally used this guy here and just, you know, do this and... Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Sweet. And you can pick a different... Have you ever used the symmetry tool in here? Photoshop? No, tell me about it. 
Yeah, we'll do that real fast. New layer, select a brush, because I think I think you deserve a treat since Whoa. you've been so kind to us with treats and okay. tips and stuff. I have a brush. Uh, select a brush, good, and just make it a color we can see. There we go, awesome. Let's keep it a little bit. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> Uh, brush is selected up here at the top. Do that. F why? Okay, go to f f go to preferences actually, wherever they are on. Yeah, go to technology previews. Oh, you might need the enable paint symmetry. Okay, what? click okay. Okay, see that butterfly right up there? Click yeah. on that. You get this. You could either split it vertically. Or do some other fun things. So you could split it vertically. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> this had, how long has it been there? It's like pretty new, pretty new. It, like, it had to be there for like yeah. 10 years. <laughs> yeah, no, you probably wanted it for a really long time. Oh my god, so, this is so good. Which would, which is great for like, if you are oh, doing a face. Wild with and this. even you just doing these simple designs looks cool, Another. so stop it. <laughs> Stop it this already. is so fun. Just kidding. But that's not only that. Like, go do another one. Do, there's the multiple. Yeah, stage. like do. Uh, oh. There's spiral. There's yeah. Try the spiral. What? As it gets like smaller and smaller and smaller. But not only that. Do uh, you can add do do go down further. Um, wait for it. Transform symmetry. No, we need an. I think you have one selected, but you're able to split, you're able to make, kind of like make a pie chart, if you will, and s split as many slices as you want. Okay. Just so you know. Oh, I'm and going to have, to have so like much fun with that. Do, is there like new symmetry? Because I think you have it selected. Every time. Hmm. I'm going to look into it. I, I think you have it selected and you know what I know what it is I think it's because I don't I don't know if you're you're you have the latest Photoshop I but think we I updated it relevantly recently but you think it's just not the latest version yeah because it's it was a, it's a preview it was a preview pre like Adobe Max and Adobe Max that's when we made it a full-fledged uh, mm. product this so yeah, so exactly fun. what Chad said. So you don't need, in the latest version, you don't need to turn it on in preferences. But not only that, that's where you get the ability to split it into different. Uh, okay, you lost me here. You just do your thing. <laughs> well, that was fun. Um, I can tell you about the day, which is tomorrow. Thank you, Chad. Mandala and Radial. Those are the two new ones that as soon as you update, you'll have those nice. two new ones. Good to know. But this is also really cool. Yeah. Uh, um, so tomorrow I want to show um, the comping, like actual comping of the um, photos together and uh, make some cool, cool stuff. I actually kind of really looking forward to show people what I did. Can I? Yeah, you have like a minute, so tab over and just do a quick. This is a this is a tease for tomorrow. Yes, that tease we'll for tomorrow. That we'll kind of lead with. I oh. am. Nope. We're gonna got it. There we go. We'll, we'll switch back for a second. Boom. So sneak peek. Yeah, going to do this. You and it's gonna be awesome. Yes. Good. Sasa, you're amazing. <laughs> I think we really appreciate thank you. you. For Everybody, me here. say thank you to Sasha. Sasha. Vino Gradova. You, you can really find nailed her. It. Good um, job. I gotta really slow down and sound it out. You know, but, it means um, grape. It means grape. Yes. I think it really means great. <laughs> I wish. Because you were you were fantastic today, and so looking forward to you. Uh, join us tomorrow morning as well. By the way, because we do have Anna McDonald, 9 a.m. And not only that, before that, 8:30, we have a daily creative challenge. So you can join Howard for that using a little XD. Thank you so much, everyone. You're fantastic. Sasha's fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow.